today we're going to go over some watercolor techniques to create our Arctic winter landscape. First thing we're going to learn about is our horizon line. Remember, this is the line between the land and the sea or and the sky, depending on what you're using. Here we're using mountains and ice, so that is our land and our sky. So this line is our horizon line. It does not have to be straight. Okay. And um, we're going to do about four or five different techniques today. We're going to do wet on wet, which means you're going to wet your paper, and then you're going to use wet paint. On that wet paint and paper, we're going to sprinkle some salt. The salt crystals will absorb the paint and take away some of the color. We're going to be doing a transparent wash, which is we're going to wet our paper and wet our brush with very little paint. Then we're going to um, do a saran wrap on top of it that's going to make it look like a stained glass effect when you take it off. So we'll do wet, the wet transparent wash and then we'll put our saran wrap on top and when it's removed, it'll look like stained glass. And then finally, we're gonna do a wet on dry, which is wet paper on dry paper and this makes for a darker wash. So the first thing we're gonna do is put our name in the corner and we're gonna flip our paper over. Now we're using a watercolor paper. And so it has a nice like fine tooth grain to it. Okay. And we're gonna draw our horizon line, which is that line between the sky and the land. And I'm just gonna make kind of a wavy one to make my mountains. Does not have to be a super thick, hard pencil line, okay? So for our skies, we're going to use our watercolors today and we're gonna wet them and we're gonna wet our paper. So when we wet our paper, we wanna use just water to wet it first, because we want it to be wet on wet, okay? And I'm just doing the sky, so I'm not gonna go below my horizon line, okay? And then I'm gonna wet my paints. I'm gonna get some colors. We're talking about like Arctic sky colors, so we kinda want the aurora borealis, those northern lights. Okay, now the more watercolors I put on, see how it's blending, bleeding out? You can mix your colors. You want it to be wet paint along so that when they blend, that's called bleeding, they'll bleed into each other. You want it wetter so that when we add our salt, the salt has some parts to absorb, okay? So you can make some parts darker. Again, more water, the better. Okay, now that's wet on wet. What I'm gonna do is I have some Epsom salt, just table salt. I'm gonna sprinkle that on my sky. Okay. When that dries, the salt crystals will absorb some of the color and take away. Okay. So that's our first wet on wet and our salt technique. For our third technique, I'm going to make sure I put like some water line down here. This will be like for my icy pond later. But now we're gonna focus on our snow and our ice. And so we want this to be a transparent wash. So we're gonna wet our paper. It's gonna be very light with water first. And I'm not going to paint into my sky. I'm gonna go right up to the line. And I want this to be a very light wash, so transparent or translucent. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of color, a little hint, and I'm gonna let the water spread out the color, okay? I want it to be very light. I could do a tiny bit of purple. Again, I'm letting the water spread out the color so it's very, very light for my sky and my snow. Then quickly before it dries, I'm going to place my saran wrap, or my plastic wrap, and I'm going to place it onto the snowy, icy landscape. When that dries, those areas will create those lines from the saran wrap, make a nice stained glass, icy snow effect. Okay, the last and final technique we're gonna do down in our water is we're going to make it very dark icy water. So we're going to use our dry paper and we're going to just put on our wet paints. You want it to be dark. You want to have more paint on your brush. So I'm going to go with my darkest blues and my light blues and build up that 
opaque or non-see-through wash. We want it to be dark. I can add in some dark purples, make it darker, okay? And that will be our icy water with our wet on dry technique, okay? Great job, go ahead and put yours on the drying rack and you're ready to start drawing your Arctic animal.